Welcome to another video, a walk on the wild side and I'm here in Blackpool, I'm on the promenade just opposite the South Pier, I'm leaving the bright lights of Blackpool promenade here, South promenade and I'm going to head towards some of the side streets of South Shore. Sorry, almost got taken out by a taxi then. Anyway, I'm going to head towards the side streets of South Shore. Um, so we're leaving the bright lights behind and we'll take a look around some of these side streets around here and we'll see what it's like, shall we? Uh, should be fairly quiet, actually. You only have to step a few, you know, a little way off the promenade and you're into, like, you know, a fairly quiet street. So we'll check them out, shall we? tell you what it's pretty busy this evening we're looking towards a lucky star and that used to be where the Weatherspoons uh, velvet coaster is right now and just up there we've got Pablo's on the corner ice cream fish and chips the South Pier it's all lit up it's all looking really really bright what have we got here fish ahoy the bright lights of South Shore Blackpool and I think we'll start we'll just go down this way shall we so we've got another fish and chip place there Woodheads. Look at that, so many, isn't there? Got a spa shop here on the corner. Oh, by the way, that's where the toilets used to be, just here. These stuff downstairs toilets here. Let's quickly show you. So, you see the spa shop there? Can you see how they've got these like newish looking flags down here? They used to have downstairs toilets right here, yeah. Who remembers the downstairs toilets? Well, that's where they used to be, yeah. Right here. Oh! Oh, hey, we just got the Western train tram in. There you go, that's off. Anyway, let's take a look at some of these side streets, shall we? In South Shore. We'll go down here, down the back. Start down the back of the, the Velvet Coaster, down this way, where they, where they put all the bins out. It's a really nice night tonight. Nice night for a walk. That reminds me of that film, um, Terminator. You remember Terminator 1 where he lands and he lands in LA by the Griffith Observatory and uh, he meets up with all these, um, these bad, bad people and they, <laughs> they say to him, nice night for a walk. And he says, nice night for a walk, and uh, he ends up killing them all. <laughs> nice night for a walk, eh? Nice night for a walk. So I'm just at the side of the Velvet Coaster. And uh, I'm just by this bit of spare land here. I suppose we're putting like a big food court in there with containers and everything, but I don't think anything came of it. But this road here is called Withnell Road, and uh, let's take a little look down here, shall we? So, this area of South Shore has quite a lot of hotels, apartment blocks, Airbnbs. That one over there is called the Lindine. There's some quite fancy hotels actually, but I'm uh, not sure about this one here. The Marine Villa Hotel doesn't look like that's open, does it? The awning could do with a bit of a bit of a TLC or maybe a new one. The new Sandy Gate. What's this one here? The Barkswell? Oh, that's quite fat. I can hear fireworks. Someone's setting fireworks off. It's quite fancy, isn't it? Look at the garden there. Yeah, they look after that one, don't they? Check it out. I'll tell you what, that sounds like an automatic gunfire. <laughs> Can you hear that? As we look towards the Home Lay Hotel, the Marsden Hotel and the Withnell Hotel. Got the Halloween decorations in there. Just here we've got apartments. These are flats, these. You can tell the flats because they've got loads of bells on the front. Sunrise Avenue. 
Half Moon Bay, that one. I think those are flats over there. Well, I can tell because they've got wheelie bins in the garden at the front. You can always tell. There's usually giveaway signs, the doorbells, the wheelie bins. Now then, I want to show you something. Just up here in the corner, we've got Bentley's. Bentley's Fish and Chips. Check it out. Oh, listen to that. Let's go and show you Bentley's Fish and Chips. There you go. Friends of the channel, Bentley's Fish and Chips. Check them out if you... If you're down this part of Blackpool, they're one of the best fish and chip shops in the whole of Blackpool. Check them out. So I'm just across from the Bond Hotel. I'm not sure if that's open at the moment. It doesn't look like it's open. It could be. Well, they're doing some work to it. It's a disabled friendly hotel, that. But anyway, um, I'm just at this junction here. And it's a bit weird, really, because you used to be able to just drive straight across here. This is Bond Street, and you used to be able to drive straight across there, but they put this, uh, they put this junction in, so... Uh, yeah, that almost caught me out the other day. We've got a car park here. This used to be National Tyres. There used to be National Tyres there, and now it's a car park. I wonder if it's one of Howard's. It could be. There are quite a lot of um, private car parks in this part of Blackpool. So, so we're now on to Bond Street, which I have covered quite a few times in the channel. That part of Bond Street just up there is, well, it's dead nowadays. It's just, it's just a dead street. I'm not going to go up there because I've, I've covered it plenty of times. We've got another car park here. Check this one out. This, I think this one definitely is Howard's. 98 Bond Street car park. Let's have a look at the prices, shall we? There you go. Not too bad. Cheaper than Blackpool Council. And uh, during the day, they usually have, they usually man during the day with security. So, a bit of peace of mind for you if you park there. I'm now back at Station Road again where I started. And uh, like I say, straight ahead is Bond Street. It's looking quite a few lights down there, quite a few shops and that open. But as you go further down, it, uh, it starts to become a bit more sort of derelict and you get shops that are all shut up and they've been shut up for years. I'll just take a little walk along this section here. We'll have a look. We've got a gift shop on the corner, Cafe Rendezvous. Oh, I just want to show you this behind me. We've got the South Pier Apartments. This used to be the Duple Club, this. Look at this building here, isn't it grand? Look at that. Wow. I thought I'd come across the road and show you from there so you get a good look. So that used to be the Duple Club to do with the coachworks. The Duple coachworks. Does anyone remember it? Yeah? And if you just look down this way, there's a building down here, which is called Centenary House. We'll just have a quick look, but I'm not going to go down Station Road. You see that building there that's got Centenary House on it? That used to be, is it the IUEW? The Amalgamated Union of Engineering Workers. Right here. I meant to say A-U-E-W. So that's what this used to be. And one of the reasons why I remember that is because I used to go to uh, Kung Fu lessons. <laughs> yeah, I used to go to Kung Fu. And they used to hold classes in there. Yeah, the, uh, the tutors. We went to a few other places as well, but I remember that place particularly. <laughs> Sorry I broke away there for a bit, but we're now Heading down Bond Street, we've got the Golden Palace Chinese. Just over here, we've got Romero. Plenty of takeaways. This one's called Antila. And now we're up to this church, which is on the corner of Dean Street. 
and this is the Holy Trinity. Doesn't have much of a garden to it. I can see some gravestones over there though. I wonder how far back that goes. Just across the road we've got a premier. Not what used to be an old bank over there, the Royal Bank of Scotland. See that building there straight ahead was the RBS, yeah. So I'm not going to go any further down there. But I'll just show you this. This is Dean Street and that was the Bond Street Chippy. And unfortunately it's no more. Yeah, it closed down a couple of years ago. What a shame. It's to let by Kenricks, if anyone's interested. And just next to that is that looked like it used to be a shop at one day. At one time, should I say. Got an alleyway there. Or is it an alleyway? It could be a road that. No, there's no road sign. Uh, something's happened to that wall there. It's a car crashed into that wall or something. Anyway, this is Dean Street. Let's have a little niche around here, shall we? Just going past that church. It's a massive church. A friend of mine got married in there and they've got this building round the back. Look, what's that there? Is that connected with the church? Let's see if I can get you another look at the church. It is a huge church. There you go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down this road now. This road is called, I'm not sure if I've even been down here before. This is called Bright Street. Bright Street. You can even just about see the tower poking up there. Now it looks like they've got just mostly apartments, I think, down here. They might have some Air Airbnbs. They are quite cramped, actually, these streets round here. Lots of concrete. I won twice, but we only won like 25 quid both times, so. But we were a bit of fun. We even got a tree, look at that. Whoa! We've got a tree, folks. Stop the press. There's a street in Blackpool with a tree on it. Now we're just coming up to uh, Rawcliffe Street. This is Rawcliffe Street that goes across. There's a building over there, which looks like it's being done up. It's all boarded up, probably to stop squatters. Um, back that way is Bond Street, of course. <clears throat> There's an alleyway here that, well, an entrance, should I say, that leads. It used to lead to the back of the new market. Can you see the sign there? That used to lead to the back of the new market in there, but now the new market's, well, it's not a market anymore. It's a shop, it's called Essentials. But this is Rawcliffe Street, we've got some flats here. This is Clarence Court. Yeah, I didn't realize uh, that there was a, it's just that solitary tree on that street over there. Because as you know, if you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that uh, I talk about the lack of trees in Blackpool quite a lot. We're coming up to a street now. This is called Moore Street. Just have a little look down there. Pretty quiet round here, actually. So that's Moore Street. And that connects up to Dean Street, where we were before. As I turn around, we can have a look the other way. This goes to Waterloo Road that way. Got another block of flats here, that's Clarence Court again. I just want to show you this here. It looks like an alleyway but this is actually a street, it's called Byron Street. Check it out, let's go down here shall we? You want 
think it would, yeah. There's houses down here. Only on the one side though. So we've got houses on one side and we've got the backyards of the the properties on the other side. There's a house for sale there if you want to check it out, Christy King, find out how much that house is going for there. I'm making my way towards Waterloo Road. The bright lights of Waterloo Road. They're not shining quite as brightly as what they used to do in the olden days when we used to come down here. But it is still living, just about. If you come here during the day, it will be reasonably busy. This is the main shopping area of South Shore. Waterloo Road, I'll just show you around. It's pretty quiet at the moment because it's, well, the time is just about now. It's half past seven. So here's a little look at Waterloo Road. Yeah, so this is Waterloo Road. Pretty quiet at the moment, as you can see. A convenience store over there. The European Superstore. Open seven days. Labyrinth. It's a bit like a tattoo parlour, that. Istanbul Barbers. Some people think it's a racetrack. His Provision Charity Shop. Oh, I'll tell you what, they've got plenty of stuff in there. Look at that there. Bet Fred. Card factory. Just over here we... Oh, the shop that's got a boarded up window there. Look, that used to be the optic... That was my opticians in the olden days. It used to be Leeson's. Leeson's opticians. And it was another optician, Scriven's. But now they've, uh, they've moved. Oh, they've moved over there, look. Look at that. It's moved over the road. What they do here as well, look. We're now up to the junction with Lytham Road. This is now Lytham Road. We've got the William Hill on the corner there. That hasn't changed a bit in all my life. Now then. Check it out. So just up this way we've got, uh, oh, we've got a cracking view of the tower, Tesco Express, we've got someone begging outside, there's always someone begging outside there, Tesco Express, a dog in partridge, this is Lytham Road, just over here we've got the Royal Oak, that's been shut for a while, I think they're waiting for new, new people to run that, but this is how it's looking here at the junction with um, Lytham Road and that was a little walk around, quiet streets of South Shore Blackpool. So I'm going to leave it there now. I'm heading up Waterloo Road now, just past the Royal Oak. It's a grand, it's a grand looking pub this and you can see it on old photographs as well. I've got a picture of Waterloo Road that was taken by a smudge outside the Bull, the Bull pub right down there. And you can see this building in the background. It looks so different then. They've even got a cinema. They had a cinema down there in the olden days, but I'm just making my way past what used to be the Empire Theatre. This building is owned by Howard Plant, this, yeah, the, the car park man. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there now, folks. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.